Hello once again, and Tony here with an album review of Diana Damrao, Fiamma del Becanto, which was recorded from September 8th to 13th, 2014 at the Teatro Reggio di Torino and was released on March 30th, 2015. The conductor was Gian Andrea Noceda, and joining Diana Damrao were the bass and her husband, Nicola Testé, the tenor, Piotr Becciawa, and the mezzo-soprano, Nicole Brandolini. And in this album, she also sings opera arias composed by Gaetano Donizetti, Vincenzo Bellini, Giuseppe Verdi, and even Giacomo Puccini and Ruggero Leongavallo. I was really looking forward to listening to this particular album in its entirety because I was so excited for Diana D'Ambrao, especially considering the fact that nowadays she seems to specialize in all of these fine bel canto roles. I sort of knew from the very beginning that she was going to specialize in them, starting off with the likes of Adina and Norina from Le Decir d'Amore and Don Pasquale respectively. She then worked her way up to the likes of Lucia de Lemermur, Elvira from I Puritani, Violetta from La Traviata, and of course Amina from La Sonambula. And she even has Maria Stuarda in the works, which she's going to perform next year in Zurich and at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. So I was definitely excited for Madame D'Ambrau when I found out that she was going to release an album of her seeing all of these wonderful bel canto arias. And I was not disappointed in the slightest. While some people do find fault with how she oversings or how she lets her mannerisms get the best of her, I will definitely defend Madame D'Ambrau to the ends of the earth for everything she has to offer. She's a committed performer. She manages to bring in a lot of enthusiasm, charisma, and life to everything that she sings. And she manages to really bring a lot of dimension to all of her roles. And she manages to also emit a lot of emotion. And she manages to sing everything with such pure abandon that I can definitely feel everything that she phrases, everything that she manages to emit. And she manages to do all of these great jobs from beginning to end. Aside from this album consisting of arias from the roles that Diana D'Ambrao has already sung, like Violetta Valeri from La Traviata, Elvira Valton from Ipuritani, and Amina from La Sonambula, this also has the welcome addition of adding Donizetti's Rosmondo d'Inghilterra and Donizetti's Maria Stuarda in the mix, and even Verdi's Imas Nadieri and Luisa Miller and of course, Puccini's La Boheme, and of course, Puccini's La Boheme, and Leon Cavallo's I Pagliacci. I thought that her rendition of Rosmonda's aria was really well done. She was so gentle in the cavatina, and in the cabaletta, she was able to really show off some fine vocal fireworks. And I also thought that her rendition of Maria Stuarda's O Nube Che Lieve, which then leads up to the cabaletta Nella Pace del Maestro Ristoro, was superbly sung in the first part and was fiercely done in the cabaletta, thus showing a lot of great potential to sing roles like this and even the Donizetti queens. I am surely anticipating the day in which Madame D'Ambrao will sing the likes of not only Maria Stuarda, but also Anna Bolena and Elisabetta from Roberto de Verro. And speaking of which, she probably could have also recorded arias from Anna Bolena and Roberto de Verro. I would have loved to hear her renditions of Come Nocente Giovane, which then leads up to the cabaletta Non Vas Guardo, and even her rendition of Al Dolce Guidami, Celia Lunghi Spasini, and of course the final cabaletta Copia Iniqua. I would have loved to hear all that. And even with Roberto de Verro, I would have loved to hear her sing the final aria, Vivin Grato, which then leads up to Quel Sangue Versato. And maybe we could have even had more selections from Maria Stuarda, like her final scene, Hace un Giorno, that scene before Mary Stewart gets executed. We could have seen all of these really fine arias in this album as well. That would have been really great. But I do feel like Diana Damrao is kind of giving herself a little bit of time for her voice to develop in order to sing all of these really meteor roles. And I'm sure that she will be an absolute knockout with the likes of Ana Bolena, Maria Stuarda, 
and Elisabetta from Roberto Tovero. And of course, we had such fine selections from Verdi's Imas Navieri and Luisa Miller, in which she sang Venerabile o Padre, which then leads up to the cabaletta Lo Sguardo Aveo Nell'Angeli. And I thought she was absolutely wonderful in those particular numbers. And of course, her rendition of Luisa Miller's Tu Punishimi O Signore was really poignant. And of course, the cabaletta Abrani Abrani O Perfido was wonderfully sung. Heck, I would have loved to hear her sing Tu Del Mio Carlo, which then leads up to the cabaletta Carlo Vive O Carri Accenti. That would have been an absolute knockout to hear. But what's also quite surprising are her renditions of the Verismo arias, Mimi's Don Delietta Uschi from Puccini's La Boheme, and Neta's Qual Fiamma Vea Nel Guardo from Ren Cavallo's I Pagliacci. I thought those two were really well sung, and I can definitely tell that Diana D'Ambrao certainly has a lot of potential to sing a lot of these more lyrical roles. She's already had the likes of the Countess Amaviva under her belt, so maybe time will tell if she's going to end up seeing roles like Mimi or Anna Bolena, Elisabetta from Roberto Dovereau, Adelaide from La Straniera, and she already has Marguerite from Faust, which she's going to be seeing next year at the Deutsche Republik. De so what this album certainly does offer is a lot of really wonderful moments from beginning to end, and as you can tell, the highlights for me were her editions of the likes of Violetta from La Traviata, Maria Stuarda, Luisa Miller, Amalia from Imas Nadieri, and of course, Mimi's Don Dilietta Uschi, in which she sang so poignantly. The other singers managed to contribute so handsomely as well. We had the likes of Nicola Testé, who sang Bohm's lines with the appropriate amount of mobility, but at the same time, that subtle menace which he managed to give, all thanks to that robust and finely tuned basso cantante voice. Piotr Bacciala's always reliable, full lyric tenor voice, giving life to Alfredo Germont's vivacity and enthusiasm when he sang A quel amor, quel amor che palpita in the Sempre Libera scene. And what more can you expect from someone like Mr. Piotr Bacciala. He's always a pro. And we even have a name who's rather new to me, Nicole Brandoletti, who is a young Italian mezzo who sang a good chunk of Anna Kennedy's lines from Maria Stuarda. I really cannot wait to see where her career will go, as she seems to have a very fine future. And the conducting done by Gian Andrea Noserda was very well done. It wasn't too robust nor too light. It was quite right and he had really fine tempi to work off of. So overall, this was definitely a fine Bel Canto album. Sure, I would have loved to have a little bit more in this particular album, but what I got from here was quite fun all throughout, all thanks to Diana D'Amrao's superb skills as a wonderful singing actress. And with that said, I give this album a four out of five stars. Yes, there could have been more, but the package was really solid all throughout, not only from the likes of Diana D'Ambrao, but also her other co-stars, Nicola Testé, Piotr Bacciala, and Nicole Brandoletti, and even the superb conducting done by Dan Andrea Noceda. And for those of you who listened to this particular album, what do you think of it? Did you feel like Diana D'Ambrao has all the capabilities of being a very fine bel canto singer? Did you feel like the other singers managed to really support this album quite well? Or did you feel like there were certain things about it that just didn't really hold up? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in much later for my review of Nathalie Doucet Madison. So until then, have a great day everybody.